Hello YouTube. I hope this video uh, finds you all well out there and that you are having a beautiful week so far. Um, I've, I've mentioned in a few recent videos that I've been reading uh, some Michael Singer lately. Um, I started with his book The Untethered Soul and as soon as I finished that I knew I needed, I needed another book of his so I kind of searched through them and I decided to get Living Untethered as well. And I was doing some reading on it over the weekend, although I got bogged down a little bit and sidetracked watching uh, college basketball. But I was doing some reading, and he got we got, he got into a section talking about suffering, and he was talking about the cause of suffering. And this was of a particular. These are some just uh, themes that have been uh, particularly important to me. Um, I wouldn't even just say recently, but over the past several years. And a lot of it is just very simple. It's very simple stuff, but at the same time, when I say it's very simple stuff, it's how our minds work. It's how we're used to processing things. So sometimes it can be a little bit tough if we, you know, do some of these things to make changes and just kind of resist those things. And uh, I just kind of picked out the several points that I think for me really uh, brought the point home because I've read Buddhist stuff before on the, on suffering and I've read a lot of, you know, stuff on uh, the idea of suffering and the philosophy of what causes it and whatever. But this was very, it resonated a lot. So the first one uh, seemed, it tends to be identification with the mind. Uh, much of our uh, suffering stems from the tendency to identify with our thoughts, emotions, and experiences. And um, we have to remember we are not our thoughts or emotions or experiences. We're not our thoughts. All that stuff going on in there, we, that is not us, the true us. Um, we are the ones that observe these thoughts, these emotions. Um, these experiences um, and it, it comes when we start resisting these which will be the second part of, uh, of the well the second reason is resistance and attachment and um, it's basically he what he says or how I interpret it is suffering arises uh, when we become attached to specific outcomes or desires yeah I'll look down at my notes I can't remember to write down certain points that I want but Listen to that. Suffering arises when we become attached to specific outcomes or desires. And I don't have a reading today, but I also wanted to uh, read another. I wanted to read a quote of his that kind of drove that point home. I'll slow iPad, iPad here. And this, in a nutshell, has just kind of been in this one statement right here has been in my head um, pretty much all weekend for the last three days. And it is suffering is caused by the contrast between what you mentally decided you wanted and the reality unfolding in front of you. To whatever degree they don't match, you suffer. And that reminds me of a quote that I've heard for years, and I'll probably butcher it. I won't. Um, give the exact, I won't say it exactly right, but I've read that um, that when we suffer, our suffering is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we uh, respond to that or how we process that. And things are going to happen and they're terrible. And like I, once again, I'm not saying this is easy stuff where we all become zen and chill and learn to process all this stuff, but you know, what happens is, has happened or is going to happen. All we can do is, you know, do what is necessary, work towards, uh, try to get um, the outcome in, th in life that we're looking for. But when thing, we kind of have to even keel and be when things don't go our way. In other words, we have to not be too attached to that. We have to be okay with that. Now, once I say, once again, we don't have to, that's not giving up. That's not meaning when things happen to us, we just throw up our hands and like, okay, well, that's it, that's my outcome. We can continue to work and, and strive to, you know, get what we want or, or, I don't like that because that goes back to desire, you know, desire, desire. 
We just basically have to do the best we can and be okay with the outcomes that happen because there's nothing else we can do about it. And once, it's almost like suffering in two parts. Like you suffer because something has happened to you and you also suffer because you keep, you, you have this mental concept of how it should have been, how you wanted it to be. And that's the reality is it wasn't like that. And the third one, which I consider another one of the main uh, causes of suffering, according to my interpretation of uh, how I, what I read through uh, Mr. Singer's uh, writing, was we have this constant inner dialogue and self-talk going on. Um, a lot of times, it just it, it can almost drive you crazy. Um, it's you know I meditate daily, and that's those are the things that pop up, and those are the things that I'm trying to quiet a little bit and find a little bit of, um, of a break from is not necessarily having that constant inner dialogue going on in my head. And it's not just during meditation. I'm trying to kind of always be reminding myself whether I'm in the car or listening to a podcast. I'm getting to where I try to focus on what I'm doing, be one pointed instead of like, you know, kind of be doing something, but still have this background uh, noise going in my head over and over because it's enough to actually drive you crazy. And if you can do that, that's almost like a meditation within itself without just, you don't have to formally sit and do a meditation if you don't want to, but um, just um, sometimes just sit there when you catch yourself doing that, observe this dialogue without getting caught up in it. But um, Anyhow, this is kind of, you know, sometimes when you read this stuff, it can kind of be esoteric and it's like, what is the practicality of it? But it is the practicality of it is just how we see things, how we process things. And by getting into the flow and not resisting, because um, in a way, in a lot of things, in, in this sense of things, resistance is futile. Once again, not saying anything about giving up or, you know, anything else, but it's just the way that we look at things. And it's, um, it also is just helping me a lot by kind of trying, really getting to the nature of the self, what my true self is, and not these things that I've always thought from the noise were myself. So anyhow, I hope my explanation of some of these things make some sense whatsoever and can be of some help to you. But to finish this video, I would highly recommend reading any of his work. Um, I'm probably going to take a break. I don't know. I haven't looked. Once I found this book, I didn't really look further into other books, but I'll probably, since I've read two books, next book will be uh, by somebody else just to get a little bit of uh, variety in there. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel and uh, follow me for more of this type of content as well as the food stuff and just continue to have a beautiful week. Peace.